So in today's episode, what I want to do is give you a definition of anxiety. And I don't want to do that just for the sake of it. And I don't want to give you a really boring definition of anxiety either. I want to give you a definition of anxiety that frames things in such a way that when you think about this definition going forward, that you might actually find it useful, that it, you, you might actually find that thinking of this kind of helps you out a little bit. And it may not, I don't know, but um, that's the idea of this definition anyway, that it might be useful to you. So I'll give you the definition of anxiety that I think might have some utility, that you might be able to use this definition as a tool in order to get you to a different headspace, a different state. So the definition of anxiety that I want to give you is this. Anxiety is the action of focusing your attention on a possible outcome that you do not want. So I'll say that again. Anxiety describes the action of focusing your attention on a possible outcome that you do not want. So when we're feeling anxious, when we actually look at the thing that we're doing, and of course, there's lots going on with anxiety. There's feelings, there's your autonomic nervous system is doing certain things. But in terms of what you're doing, when we're feeling anxious, you'll notice as you take this definition forward, that what you're actually doing in that moment is that you're focusing your attention on an outcome, a possible outcome, that you don't want to happen. And the reason why I want you to kind of get a grip of that definition, that anxiety is a description of the action of you focusing your attention on an outcome that you don't want, is because... When you focus your attention on those scary things, on those unpleasant things, it's not surprising then that we end up with an unpleasant set of sensations to go with that. When we focus our attention on the things that we don't want, on the things that wouldn't be good for us, it's not surprising that that part of our brain, like the lizard brain, the amygdala they call it, which acts as a smoke alarm. It's not surprising that that starts to freak out as we scare ourselves with that possibility, that possible outcome that we don't want. As we focus our attention on it, it's not surprising that we scare ourselves. And the reason why I think this definition could be used as a tool for you next time that you're in an anxious situation and that you're having anxious feelings is that when you identify the anxiety is the action of focusing in, focusing your attention on the outcome that you don't want, it begs another question. And the question that it begs is, if that's the outcome that you don't want, what is it that you do want instead? And it's a really powerful question in a number of ways because firstly you might not know off off hand off the top of your head that might actually require a bit of thought what is it a do one instead and so that's useful because it allows you to identify the thing that you do want to bring into life rather than the thing that you're currently focusing on but the second, the second reason it's really powerful is that you're no longer scaring your own lizard brain. When you identify the thing that you do want, the outcome that would be good for you, that would be nice, that would be nourishing, that would be satisfying, that would be wonderful, well, your nervous system soothes down. Because... There you're thinking of sunshine and lollipops and all those nice things when you're thinking of the outcome that you do want. 
And so we stop scaring ourselves. And so our nervous system calms down. And when our nervous system calms down, it sends calm feedback loops up to the brain. Because the brain's always taking some data from what's going on in your body. And so when we look at the thing that we do want instead, and we focus our attention on what we do want, we actually calm our body down. And that then starts this virtuous loop, this virtual cycle, where that calm data from the body then is sent to the brain and the brain starts to soothe down. Your lizard brain starts to soothe. And we can bring ourselves into more of a state of calm than we were before. So I'm just going to say that definition one more time. Anxiety is the action of focusing your attention on an outcome that you do not want. And so the reason that that definition might be helpful as a tool to you is because it begs the question, well, what do I want instead? And that offers us an invite to focus our attention there in that happier place where we're telling ourselves happy, comforting stories rather than the scary stories that create all these horrible feelings. Now, if you find that idea useful, then please feel free to share the podcast. You can actually subscribe so you never miss an episode. They're out every day. Uh, a little nugget to help you through the day. And you can do that wherever you get your podcasts. You can also do that at YouTube. Just go to a sliceoftherapy.com. You'll find the whole back catalogue there. And you can work with me directly. I'm Alan Parry. I'm the director of the Liverpool Psychotherapy Practice. And you can find me at liverpoolpsychotherapy.co.uk. So thanks for listening. And I'll be back with another one tomorrow. <laughs>